Hello guys, Hikiyami Morikotes, and welcome to another indie game. This one's called Healing, and there's a cute anime girl here, so let's start the game. Hmm. H hello Hey, wake up. Are you okay? I don't know, am I? Why is everything so dark? You feel something... Someone gently take your hand and help you back up on your feet. It's a cute anime girl, whoa! A human in these woods? What are you doing all the way here? Are you not a human? Are you like a schoolgirl witch? Oh, choices! Excellent! You know me, I love my choices in my visual novels. Um, I was bored. You know, I was bored. I am playing this game because I was bored. Uh, I took a walk and got lost and I was looking for you. This sounds really romantic, so I was looking for you. Oh, uh, silly human, you don't even know my name, how funny. Interesting, it says intersetting, but I I'm guessing it's interesting. I think I could learn a lot from you. Now, do you have a name, don't you? Oh, yeah, my name is Moriko. Yes. What a pleasure to meet you, Moriko. My name is Wendelin, but you might call me Wen. So, humans should be wandering in this enchanted woods alone. Come with me and I'll lead you back home. Surely your organic body needs sustenance. Uh, are you not human? I'm guessing you're not. Wow, the inside of the hat is, is really pretty. I, I just noticed that. Uh, I'm starving, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Wait, how can I trust you? Yeah. How can I trust you? Oh dear, I didn't quite think of about that. I promise I'm not a malicious entity. It's up to you if you want to be stuck in this forest forever. Well, shall we? Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Uh, Wen takes your hand and begins to lead you through the forest. Uh, there's a slight breeze in the air and the smell of a fresh rain lingers. Okay. As you two walk through the greenery, you can hear the light crunch of leaves and twigs underneath your feet. There's a few minutes of sweet silence before the wind begins to strike up more conversation. Wait, wh why does it say question marks again? Uh, you look a little puzzled, my dear Moriko. What is in your mind? Well, I love this game, it has a bunch of choices. Uh, this actually feels like a conversation. Hmm. Who exactly are you? I mean, what exactly are you? Uh, where are we? What were you doing out there? Uh, who exactly are you? Me? I'm a super evil scary witch. Uh, that's a nice expression. Just kidding. While I really am a witch, I'm here to study humans and practice magic. Obviously, not at the same time. Don't fret, my dear. I know I have a way to take you home back to the human world. Was I Isekai? But I have a few chores I need to do around the house. Won't you accompany a lonely witch? Sure, why not? How wonderful. Hmm, I have a question. How are witches perceiving the human world? I have a guess, but I want your opinion. Hmm. This is a nice conversation. This is a nice game. Uh, they are magical and have cauldrons. They are scary. People dress up as witches for Halloween. I don't think people dress as witches as much for Halloween now. Halloween is more like a big cosplaying contest now. Uh, I don't think people are scared of witches as much as before, so I guess they are magical and have cauldrons. Really? Some things never change. I'm sure you're tired of all this small talk. Follow me and I'll show you my home. Oh, nice. So after a cow walk in the woods, you and Wen eventually emerge in the street on sunlight. By the way, I don't know if it's Wen, but I'm just gonna call it Wen because Wen sounds a little weird. Hey, that's a nice house. And here we are. Um, I haven't been here for very long, but I found this old cottage here. Wait. No one was using it, so I fixed it a little with the magic and bam. Let's go inside, shall we? Let's go. You follow Gwen into her whimsical cottage. And you know, this is really cute and everything, but it, it could be really... I feel it's only cute and magical because the girl is cute and magical, but this is kind of creepy. Am I gonna get, like, killed or something? Uh, immediately you are hit with the sweet smell of lavender and fresh breeze from an open window. Like Fibris. Well, what do you think? Pretty cozy, right? There's a cat in here. 
what would you like to do? Do I get to do everything? Or I only get to do one thing? Can I save the game? I'm gonna save the game. So let's make a cake. Let's have some tea. Show me your magic. Can I pet your cat over there? So, you know me, I'm allergic to cats, so I can't do that. Um, I don't know if I want to eat something because I might get potion. You, you gotta be careful with this kind of things, right? So, show me your magic. You want to see genuine magic? Follow me. Morika followed Gwyn in a daily lit room. This room was particularly more cluttered than the others. Crystal balls, yellow scrolls, and potions with strange colorful liquids lined in the shelves. In the center of the room was a large circle with candles, which went meticulously lit. Hey, I, I, I'm sorry, my, my mouse doesn't work really well and I double click by mistake. Uh, magic is the essence of everything in the universe. It, it was told in the stories that regular humans long ago had magic, but slowly it faded when the world separated. I'm gonna use the spacebar now, so I don't double click by mistake. Uh, now there's a scene, simply that human realm and the magic realm, you my dear Moriko somehow cross between this. It's much easier to cross from the magic realm to the human realm, through not the other way around. There might even be magic or magical creatures in the human realm that you are unaware of, like Bigfoot. If you could choose an element of magic, which would you gravitate towards? Hmm. That's a good question. There's fire. But fire is kinda dangerous to, to use, you know? You, you make one mistake with fire and everything is, is done for. There's ice. That's my, like my favorite magic, ice magic. Um, lightning, it's also kinda dangerous, I guess. Light sounds harmless. Shadow sounds really, like, really dangerous, right? So I'm gonna go with ice. I'm gonna go the safe way. Ice magic. It's closely related to its causing water. You must have a hard time opening up to others, but you might melt if you met the right person. <gasps> Is this like like fortune telling but with, with the questions? Oh my god. You know, I will never open to anyone. I'm like a closed door. This type of magic can make the skin grow cold or cold refresh someone on a hot summer day. Wind conjures a small ball of ice within her hand. You see the frost wrap around her fingertips. She lightly placed the ball of ice in your hand, it was freezing to the touch and you can accidentally drop it to the floor. No worries, ice magic isn't for everyone. If you could choose an area of study, for example, at a college, which would you choose? At a magical college? Uh, hmm. Potions? Magical creatures? Or spells? I'm guessing potions, it's like more more scientific, and I'm not good with that stuff. I, I get bored easily, uh, so that's not it. Um, magical creatures? Sounds like like being, being a bat or something. Uh, I, I do love animals, but I'm not good. Uh, well, I'm good with animals, not not with taking care of them in, the, in, a, in a surgical level, right? In a medical way. Spells sounds more artistic, I'm guessing, and I'm not good with art, so I'm just gonna go with magical creatures. There are dozens of magical creatures out there in the world. Some small, some large, and yes, even dragons. You know, they hold more than just gold. I could tell you more, but certainly they don't want, you, they don't want to bore you. Well, now that you learn a little bit of more about magic, how about we head back? Yeah, you know, this is really nice since you can like you have a, a bunch of choices and a bunch of different text options. Um, you guys can play the game when I finish the, the let's play, and you can get like a lot of different um, conversations. So this is a neat game. Uh, it it has a lot of replayability. Uh, as always, the link will be down in the description if you guys want to play the game. Um, so I guess I have to do everything. Let's bake the cake. You want to help me bake the cake? That sounds lovely. I have you made lots of sugar. Well, I do. I'm not, a, I'm not a sweets person, but let's go. Which flavor do you prefer? I get to choose the flavor of the, of the cake? Wow, this game lets you do everything. Vanilla, chocolate, or red velvet? Hmm. I guess chocolate? Interesting. Let's pick a cake. Moriko followed Gwen into her kitchen. The room smelled fresh and full of fragrant spices. There was a variety of different ingredients, some familiar and some looking quite otherworldly. 
the music, it sounds really nice in this game. This sounds really happy. For a witch, she appeared to be average at cooking. No spooky cauldrons here. Oh, look at her, she's really cute. Am I having a, like a, like a Valentine's Day, the, the day after? Um, first, you help Gwen gather her ingredients around the kitchen, almost dropping the eggs in the process. Am I clumsy? Uh, after trying on her cooking apron, Gwen began mixing the ingredients. The spin the cake mix all over herself. Super cute. Haha, <laughs> I thought that humans were also so clumsy. I promise this isn't the best I can do. I think I'm a little nervous because you're around, Moriko. It's okay, baking can be difficult. Uh, how often do you bake? Okay. Okay, just to be fair, the, the only things I bake are like, like with with a, with a box uh, mix, with a, with a cake mix. So nothing fancy, right? Just just you just pour the mix in the in the bowl with some milk and some eggs, and and that's it. And I don't know if you're doing this from scratch. So baking can be difficult. You're too kind, Mariko. At least it would taste good, no? Presentation is always everything. Oh my. At that moment, when Early dropped the ball, she was holding. Girl, be careful, I want that cake. I love chocolate every now and then, but sometimes it can be quite too much. I let you have most of it. I'm also not a big fan of chocolate uh, cake. Moriko, have you ever baked before? Uh, well, just, just what I was saying. I bake bread, I bake cookies, I bake pie. I've never baked anything. I have made cookies and pie. I think the most the most I do is it's cookies, so let's go with cookies. And cookies, those are delightful. Truly an amazing human invention. Wait, humans invent cookies? My favorites are chocolate chip, but I don't tell anyone. <laughs> why 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 would I tell someone you like chocolate chip cookies? I remember making cookies with an old friend of mine. Eventually, through trials and tribulations, you and Wayne complete the Metacritic cake. Hey, that's rude. To your relief, it tasted great. After taste testing the cake and eating yourself silly, you follow Wayne back to the main room. Okay, now, I guess now we have our, our, our tummy filled. Let's have some tea to, to down it. Oh, I absolutely love the tea. Let's sit outside in such a nice day. Let's go. What kind of tea would you like? Wow, this game... This game really it's it's above and beyond in in choices. Uh, if you remember me playing any other visual novel, you know I complain a lot about um, not having enough choices to to take on visual novels, and this game is perfect for me. I love it. Uh, I actually have green tea, but since we had since we had like cake, let's go with black tea. Perfect. I will bring a pot for us. America follow win outside. The summer air was perfect, not too hot, yet not too breezy. Small clouds speckled the sky and birds fluttered around. There was a delicate white garden table with two chairs sitting underneath a small grove of trees and rose bushes. We brought a, a long a hefty ornate pot, teacups and a few delicious pastries. Now more, more pastries, now I'm gonna get fat. All of which magical float in the hair. Amazing. Wow, she's, she's really pretty. She, she's really pretty. And Wynne sat calm in front of you, sipping on her tea. You know, black tea has a little bit of caffeine in it. However, it does contain antioxidants, I think. I read a very healthy for humans. This tea has a slight orange taste to it. Actually, do you drink tea often? Yeah, I, 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 I drink tea often. That's great! I've there are many different kinds of tea in the human world. Well, about the same you offered. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little tea date we went on. It's been forever since I had company. Can I just stay here? I don't want to go back to my to my normal life. I have to go to work and, and it's horrible. I don't want it. Let, let me stay here. Uh, to be honest, I believe tea brings people together. I understand it can be a post social event, but there's nothing better than tea between two friends. Are we friends? Uh, perhaps the next time we can go on a picnic date. Uh, am I getting ahead of myself? Let's go back, shall we? Aren't you going to return me to, to, to the real world? Why, why are you planning a a picnic date. Man, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, can I pet your cat over? I, I don't. I won't really do this, but I don't have an option, so let's let's pet the cat. The black cat over there is named Juno. It's a very common for witches to have 
cats as pets, like familiars, right? Some cats have magical powers, others are able to see into the real spirits. You know, she's a very talented at taking naps and catching mice. Just a regular cat then? Uh, the other side to walk over to Juno, the round kid is purring quite loudly. Reaching out your hand, you allow the small gentle creature to sniff your fingers. Um, she gives you a small lick and goes back to sleep. Wow, you're something else, Mariko. Usually, Juno doesn't like strangers. Sorry about that, the silence. Uh, wow, we had such an eventful day. We baked tea, had we baked, had tea, practiced magic. I'm exhausted. How are you feeling, Moriko? Oh, she's she's so sweet, asking a lot of questions. You know, I do like I do like uh, like visual novels when when you get to answer a lot of questions or or interact with the characters. It's less one-sided, right? But in real life, you also get some one-sided conversations. I don't like one-sided conversations, um, so I like. Um, being able to answer something and then hear the other people. Uh, anyway, I'm feeling great. Can you take me home now? I don't want to go home. I'm feeling great. But also, I'm a little tired. Can we sleep together, please? Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I'm sorry to wear you out. Please, follow me, Moriko. Hey, why are you blushing? Why, why are you blushing? Why? Tell me why. Moriko. I want to thank you. You spent almost the entire day with a complete stranger in an unfamiliar world. Well, I didn't have a much of a choice. Ever since I moved from my previous post, it's been quite lonely. I didn't expect to find a human in this forest. I didn't want to alarm you, but I read the studies that humans can be quite malevolent. Yeah, that's true. Humans suck, man. Uh, you were the exact opposite. Thank you. It's a little embarrassing, but there was a time where I befriended another human, and one day they turned weak. Uh, you brought these thoughts wrong, which is why I was excited to spend time with you and possibly become friends. Maybe more. <gasps> oh my. Moriko, I hope other humans are as kind and gentle as you. They are not. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. You held out your hand to Gwen and she gently placed a pendant with a glistening pink stone in your palm. You rotate the pendant and as it meets the light flittering through the trees and rainbow shines sparkle from it. This is a special pendant just for you. I can't guarantee we'll see each other in the future, but I would like that one day. However, you belong to the human world and must go back eventually. Hold this pendant close to your heart and follow the path back from here and you'll be able to go back home. You absolutely cannot look back, no matter how badly you want to, or else you won't return safely. Can you promise me that? You nod your head and a bittersweet smile crosses men's face as she waits. Lips softly crunch beneath your feet as you follow the dear path. There was a sweet scent of roses as you pass into the darkness. After wandering around for a while, you suddenly see a distant light. You rush towards the light and wake up in your bed, as if nothing ever happened. Time has seemingly not passed. It was surely a dream, where you spend the day with a cute anime witch. No, it's just a dream, it's always a dream. My life is miserable. However, you notice a small pink pendant on your desk. Thank you for playing. Oh, she's really cute. Thank you for making the game. It was a really good game, but I didn't get to live with my anime witch. But did I heal? What is it called healing? Um, so let's go to the Ichio page. It says healing, in quotes, is a semi-romantic, safe for work visual novel that allows you to spend the day with a cute witch named Wen. This is my first official game and visual novel. And um, features include uh, about a 5-10 minutes game. It took me 20 minutes to finish the game, so I, I suck at this game. It, it took me twice as much to finish the game. And three dates, events, each with multiple choices and dialogues. Uh, one wholesome ending. Ah, it's only it only has one ending, but it has a bunch of choices, so you guys should play the game. Original art, cute vibes, and made with Rempy. So that was healing, guys. What do you think about the game? I think it's an amazing game. I think it's an amazing game. Uh, Honestly, I just wake up and I was feeling kind of down uh, and this game really helped me heal with a cute anime girl to spend the day with. So, yeah, if you want to feel good, play this game. Uh, yeah, if you're having a bad day, play this game. 
Uh, just play this game. It's it's a good game. Um, thank you, developer, for making the game, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next indie game or stream. Goodbye.